Well, Jose, then the first question that I wanted to ask you is, what do you see as the biggest challenges facing health leaders in the next five, ten years? We have uh, challenges that are well known because we want to have response capacity, we want to, to have really value-based services and at the same time, you know, open with empathy, with uh, capacity to serve at and sustainable. So how to make this, this uh, uh, we need to juggle with so many things at the same time to make this happen. And one of the main challenges that is not uh, usually brought to the table is how to to break actually the dichotomy that is very common between uh, you know individual kind of perspective, personalized perspective, and community perspective. It seems like we may be one in the, one of the two camps. So now there is a movement on personalized medicine. Do focus on the person, and then focus on the social determinant will be the other extreme. I think we need to have a bridge because. Actually, at the end, community is, a, uh, is just a set of human beings. So even when I work in population, with a population health perspective, I'm thinking all the time in human beings. I'm thinking in my relatives, in my friends. They have souls, they have their own hearts, they have their own emotions. So the set of all the individuals make the community. And this is why, absolutely, I mean, I, as an individual, I care about the community because together we are stronger and we can actually cope with the different difficulties and overcome the challenges. So we've had really great discussions over the last few days about exactly this issue, the, 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 the multiple challenges that are kind of emerging and how closely interlinked they are. In terms of health care, we have you know, a huge burden on health systems. We have problems with workforce. We have problems with limited resourcing and uh, you know digital technology all of these that these these challenges to try to get a, a functioning health system that is sustainable and um, where, where the workforce you know can manage these these increasing burdens in terms of health of course the challenges are of a different nature around the social environmental commercial determinants of health and um, how those things are interlinked um, and we have these parallel or interlocking crises of uh, the pandemic, the climate change, uh, war uh, and conflict, refugees, um, inequalities within countries and between countries. So there, there are really so many almost uh, what we call wicked problems, don't we, that are interlinked. And that's why the Siena program is so very important to try to help grow leaders who can really challenge and tackle those problems? I think what the, the challenge at, which is immediately on the table is what did we learn during the COVID uh, uh, pandemic, during the COVID crisis? Uh, we already d discussed this topic this morning and, and what, what I said was that the cracks within our society became more obvious, also the cracks in our health system. So, for example, the inequality in our society was reflected in the inequality of access of treatment in our health system. And uh, so that is one of the big challenges.